Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com where we show you guys how to make smarter trades. And tonight we're going to go over all of the trades that we made for Tuesday, December 16th. So we had one of each today, one opening, one closing, and one adjustment trade. So fairly quiet day even though we had three trades. We'll start off here tonight going over Microsoft. This was a late entry so I just want to get it out so I didn't have too much time to write up comments. Uh, before the alert went out, but we did do an unbalanced iron condor in Microsoft. And again, just trying to take advantage of all the stocks that have really high implied volatility right now. Microsoft is one of the ones that's very, very liquid, along with like Apple and Google, uh, et cetera, and Facebook. You know, it's one of the more liquid stocks that's very highly traded, so easy to get in and out of. We went ahead and added two of the Microsoft 4950 calls. That's the $1 wide strike on the call side. And on the put side, you can see we did a $2 wide strike, very similar to what we did last night as well, where we have a little bit more risk on the put side. So we're actually playing this a little bit tilted to the bearish side, even though it's still, or I'm sorry, to the bullish side, even though it's still an iron condor, we are trying to minimize our risk if Microsoft does happen to rally back and then you know kind of take off from here. But overall, we took an, a decent credit for this trade, about 26 cents. Uh, on this trade and I really like kind of the setup that it's going through. So here's a, a look at the chart of Microsoft and you can see down here on the bottom that implied volatility is really spiked up into the 90th percentile. So very, very high implied volatility um, and that just really helps us get in and out of these options very easily with great premium. So our trade was the 42 and then the 49. So you can see our short strike down here below was the 42 and then up above is the 49. So that's kind of the range that we're looking in, not factoring in break even. So a very wide range and that's really helped by this implied volatility. And like I said, we gave ourselves uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, tilt to the bullish side just in case Microsoft does, you know, kind of rally back from this point. Sometimes when we've seen, you know, spikes up in implied volatility that, you know, just sets kind of the basis for, you know, a possible rally in Microsoft. So we don't want to get caught, you know, with a full risk trade uh, to the top side of the market. So that's why we did what we did. Here's a look at the profit loss diagram and you can see that with Microsoft, uh, we actually had that, you know, kind of skewed or tilted iron condor. So we have more risk to the bottom side with the 4240. And then on the top side, we only gave ourselves a $1 wide strike. So if Microsoft does happen to rally higher and go way higher than 49, we only stand to lose about $300 versus the about $700 that we're risking to the bottom side. So we've already got a lot of positions that are already tilted, you know, bearish, and we could, you know, make some money if the markets fall and continue to fall. So I don't want to, um, you know, discount that fact that this is kind of working in our overall favor uh, and making us a little bit more balanced overall. So you got to always include that in your portfolio. If your portfolio is already balanced and you, you know, maybe this is your first trade with us. I know a lot of new people signed up this week. Then maybe you might want to do a one dollar wide spread on either side. But in, <clears throat> excuse me, in my case, I definitely needed a little bit more positive delta in my portfolio. So I tilted this towards the the bullish side to give it a little bit more positive delta. But you can do it on either side. The probabilities are still going to work out about the same on either way. It's just a uh, use of capital. For closing trades, we did go ahead and close out of SMH. Now, this was a vertical roll that we had rolled from December out to January, and we bought it back today because, you know, I just think that SMH has kind of run its course. It's a, it's a really weird stock, and although it's very liquid, it just hasn't really performed as, as well as we thought and kind of has done what we thought, right? It sold off, but it just, you know, maybe has reached kind of a pinnacle and might turn around. So at least at this point, we're taking this trade off with a loss, about $120 loss, which is just 30 per contract. Um, after all the rolls. So I know that in the alert I said we're taking a profit. But that was just on this this side of the roll. So it didn't include all the rolls and that's that's my fault for not just being 100% clear on that. Uh, when you look at SMH, like I said, um, it just is a stock that you know has had a nice move down. Implied volatility is starting to spike up. Um, all of that is, is, is okay, but we already had short premium there. So you know, it really didn't help us all too much other than the move down. And so I think you know we might be kind of coming towards you know, some sort of, of top here uh, and resistance level for, uh, or bottom and resistance level for SMH. So we went ahead and got rid of the trade. I think there's better trades out there, just better use of our capital elsewhere. And I didn't want to tie it up anymore in SMH. And then the last trade we want to go over tonight is our final, hopefully GLD adjustment. And that is selling the 116, 118 call spread. So 
think we've been doing a pretty good job this month. It's going to be a really interesting case study, regardless of where GLD actually ends up, uh, as far as making adjustments to gold and kind of you know mirroring the the trades or mirroring the market a little bit as far as movement. Since gold had a nice jump lower today and then subsequently kind of rallied back just a little bit, we decided to add another call spread to our trade and still keeping with the theme of the same number of contracts, so the same three number of contracts and the same width of the contracts being two. So we took in a really nice credit on this adjustment, another 50 cents that just helps add and buffer ourselves against a possible loss in GLD as we kind of run up against expiration. What our final position in GLD looks like is this. And you can see once the, the chart loads up is that we've got, again, you know, just what looks like mostly an iron condor, but it's got a little bit of a butterfly skew to it. Okay, so it looks kind of like a broken wing butterfly. And those of you who have traded with me before know, you know, what this strategy looks like. But what we really helped do was by adding this trade, we kind of recentered the strategy as much as we could over gold's current price, which is about 115. So we definitely need gold to trade a little bit higher over the next two days. Uh, but at least at this point, we've already you know locked in some profits on the short 118 puts that we bought back. I'm sorry, short 118 calls that we bought back. So so that's helping us out as well. But it's going to be a really really kind of tight window here, and we'll see you know which way it goes. We may make one more adjustment, but. But overall, I think we're just going to stick with this one and kind of ride it out here. But it'll be a really interesting case study to look at. But that is the adjustment that we made in gold. As always with the adjustments, you want to take in a credit and reduce your risk. And that's exactly what we did with this adjustment. We took in a credit. We reduced our overall risk on the trade. Uh, so there's really nothing more you can ask for. Now you just got to let the market you know, do its thing and see where you end up. So as always, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. And if you have any comments or questions, please add them right below in the membership section. If you're watching this video somewhere else online out there on YouTube or somewhere else, you got to remember that you're getting this video about seven to 10 days after it's sent out to our members. So if you want these alerts and real time updates, including this video every single night, detailing all of our trades, you've got to sign up for a membership at optionalpha.com. Until next time, happy trading.